हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज सुश हेयर एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग इन द सेक्शन ऑफ आर मेटाबॉलिज्म दैट इज द ड्रग मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड फर्स्ट पार्ट वीडियो ऑफ द मेटाबॉलिज्म वी हैव डिस्कस एक्चुअली द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ द मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल बी जस्ट कंटिन्यूइंग फ्रॉम दैट सेक्शन ओके इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ मेटाबॉलिज्म पार्ट वन देन यू वॉच दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट एंड देन कम टू द फेजेज ऑफ मेटाबॉलिज्म ओके सो वी आर इन द सेक्शन ऑफ फार्माकोकैनेटिक्स ओके एज फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट वीडियो दैट वॉज एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ द ड्रग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द ड्रग एंड देन वी आर द हेयर इन द मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी ऑन द क्लियरेंस और एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ द ड्रग ओके सो वी हैव टू एक्चुअली सी द फेजेज ऑफ मेटाबॉलिज्म ओके इन वन मिनट आई शुड रिवाइज वॉट इज मेटाबॉलिज्म सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट मेटाबॉलिज्म इज अ बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड अदर नेम इन विच देर इज अ केमिकल अल्ट्रेशन ऑफ द ड्रग इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके so the main aim of the metabolism is to make the lipid soluble drug to water soluble drug okay so uh, to make the drug polar drug okay so that can uh, so that it is ca- it can be excreted out from the kid- kidney easily okay as the water soluble uh, liquids or water soluble things are excreted out the f- f- from the kidney so we have to make the drug water soluble so that is our aim of the metabolism in which we have two phases phases meaning is that how the metabolism is done how the drug will be metabolized okay uh, what are the processes there uh, in the liver what is happening okay so we will be seeing that concepts in this phases okay so let's start with the phase 1 okay so phase 1 i have uh, as i have told you in the previous video phase 1 the another name is non synthetic reaction okay and the functionalization reaction functionalization because uh, the uh, the uh, the main aim of the phase 1 metabolism is to add functional group on the drug okay so functional group meaning is that uh, making any uh, means adding any group which is polar okay which is polar uh, and which we, which will make the metabolite of the drug polar so that it can be easily excreted out or it can become water soluble okay so that is the main aim and uh, the phase 2 just link it with the phase 2 what phase 1 does is that just consider phase 1 makes the drug sticky so by adding the functional group okay by adding the fun- functional group the drug can go to phase 2 reaction that is called as conjugation reaction okay in that conjugation will be happening so the aim of the phase 1 is to make the drug sticky so that the conjugation uh, that is the main carbohydrate or amino acid groups which are more uh, more polar groups okay like will be doing acet- acetylation okay sulfation methylation so these all are actually polar reactions so th- they will make the drug water soluble so the main aim of the phase 1 is uh, to add the functional group which will make the drug sticky okay and then the drug will go through the phase 2 uh, process and there the conjugation reaction will happen and the drug will be made more polar or more water soluble so that it can be excreted out that is the main link between phase 1 and phase 2 reaction okay clear so aim as i have told you add functional group on the drug functionalization reaction that is why it is also called and uh, in this will be having some processes like first process is oxidation okay so meaning of oxidation from the chemistry basics you know that it is the addition of oxygen or addition of negative charge radical okay or in other language we can say it is a removal of hydrogen or addition of positive charge uh, that is removal of positive charge radical okay so this is oxidation will it will be happening in this case and some more processes like reduction this is a reverse of oxidation in which will be removing oxygen and adding hydrogen okay so any one line you can say for that in oxidation we have main drugs like phenytoin and propanolol okay so phenyl anti epileptic drug this is a beta blocker clear and reduction as i have told you and in this will be antibiotic that is chloram phenicol and the third process which will be happening in phase 1 by the drug can be functionalized or hydrolysis okay in which will break the compound by addition of water molecule like in the procaine that is a local anesthetic drug lignocaine is an anti arrhythmic drug okay that you will study later on just remember the drug name right now okay and the fourth process will be cyclization cyclization meaning is that making a straight chain of a drug into a ring structure okay so pro guanil is a drug okay pro guanil clear so and now fifth we have decyclization so now make uh, now opening the ring structure okay if the drug metabolite is uh, ring so now we'll open that cycling form of the drug and that's process is called as decyclization in which will be have barbiturates and again phenytoin okay so this is the main concept and main processes here okay uh, these are the five processes that will be happening here 
reduction hydrolysis cyclization and oxidation okay you just have to remember this process name now main concept uh, we have to see is the enzymes so drug metabolizing enzymes so enzyme which will be metabolizing the drug we have to see so now in this section we have actually two categories of enzymes like microsomal and non microsomal clear so why we are saying microsomal and non microsomal so actually microsomal meaning is actually your endoplasmic reticulum okay so why we are considering endoplasmic reticulum okay why we are not considering like mitochondria lysosomes okay golgi bodies we are uh, why we are dividing on the basis of microsomal and non microsomal not on the basis of cytoplasmic or nuclear okay nuclear enzyme cytoplasmic enzyme okay so the division of enzyme is on the basis of non microsomal and microsomal so these enzymes we will be seeing in the case of ser that is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum smooth er okay and these enzymes we will be seeing in the non microsomal areas like cytoplasm okay nucleus is there and left organelles of the cell okay cytoplasm nucleus we have lysosomes we have golgi apparatus we have okay so in that areas we will be finding the non microsomal enzymes and in the specifically in the smooth and the uh, endoplasmic reticulum we will be finding the microsomal enzyme in liver or anywhere in kidney okay so basically it's present in liver okay so why we are considering ser because the microsomal enzymes can be inducible means the activity of these enzymes can be enhanced or the activities of these enzymes can be inhibited so that is why we are dividing the enzymes on the basis of ser and other non microsomal enzymes okay other organelles clear so that is why the main point here it is that it is inducible and inhib uh, inhibition is possible clear whereas here it is not possible clear so if we take the example for this and location i have told you ser and non ser areas in the cell now examples we have cyp 450 is one of the most common enzyme which uh, most of the drugs are metabolized by this only in the body like endogenous substances like steroids lipids are actually metabolized by this and exogenous substances that is drugs are there carcinogens are there environmental pollutants are there so all these things are metabolized in liver by this common enzyme so most common enzyme is cyp 450 okay so in detail we'll be discussing just after this uh, concept in detail what is cyp and enzymes categories clear so now we have cyp 450 one example and one more example is that glucuronide transferase okay so second enzyme we have glucuronide transferase we have many other enzymes so most common are these two in this we have acetyl transferase we have okay methyl transferase we have okay so here one more difference is that most of the phase 1 reactions are metabolized by microsomal enzyme most of the i am not saying that all of the phase 1 okay some reactions are also metabolized by non microsomal enzyme but this glucuronide transferase is actually a process of phase 2 reaction okay by glucuronic acid okay glucuronidation in the phase 2 we will be discussing that so just here just remember glucuronide transferase is actually a process in the case of most common process in the phase 2 reaction but it is uh, being done by microsomal enzymes and other conjugate uh, that is conjugation reactions like in which are happening in phase 2 are metabolized by non microsomal enzymes so except this all phase 2 reaction all phase 2 reaction except glucuronide or you can say glucuronidation reaction which is done by glucuronide transferase enzyme clear but most of the uh, oxidation reduction okay and uh, hydrolysis are done by microsomal enzyme and some are also done by some oxidation and hydrolysis and re reduction process are done by non microsomal enzyme so you just have to see the statement okay so you have to remember the statement here and main concept is inducible and inhibition is possible in microsomal enzymes clear this much we'll be seeing cyp in detail just after this okay cyp 450 now this glucuronide transferase we will be discussing in phase 2 reaction okay so this was the example for the microsomal enzyme i think it is clear okay now i have to tell you one concept behind this inducible and inhibition what happens with microsomal uh, metabolizing drugs and non microsomal metabolizing drugs some drugs are metabolized by microsomal enzymes some are metabolized by non micro so just consider the example of warfarin is an anticoagulant and heparin okay so what happens in this case is that here just consider warfarin is an anticoagulant okay 
and it is metabolized by microsomal enzymes okay and it is metabolized by non microsomal enzyme okay and i am taking hypothetically 100 mg of drug of warfarin is given and 50 mg is metabolized in 6 hours okay or 6 hours you can say or 8 hours okay 8 hours just consider and non microsomal heparin is a we also hypothetically we give 100 mg of heparin to the patient and 50 mg is metabolized in 8 hours same so what is the difference in this so difference in this is that warfarin is metabolized by microsomal enzymes and heparin is metabolized by non microsomal enzyme no other difference is there 100 mg is metabolizing in 80 hours 50 mg is left again we have to give the 50 mg of dose after 8 hours okay here also again we have to give 50 mg of dose after 8 hours okay so what happens with the inducible that is inducible and inhibition okay so that can be done with the microsomal enzymes okay so just consider if a patient after 6 or 8 months has tb okay we have given rifampicin is an anti tb drug so rifampicin is an enzyme inducer okay rifampicin now we have given a patient of rifampicin so it actually enhances the metabolizing enzyme just consider there were 50 here 50 microsomal enzyme and 50 microsomal 50 molecule will be breaking 50 mg of drug okay now after uh, enhancing now this uh, range is just considered become 90 mg okay 90 mg okay now 90 mg will be breaking 90 means 90 enzyme will be breaking uh, sorry this is 90 enzymes 90 enzyme will be breaking uh, 90 mg of molecules of warfarin in 8 hours now we are left with only 10 mg but here there will not happening that thing because non microsomal enzymes are non inducible okay non inducible and non inhibition is possible so here we don't have there will be no effect here so now here we have to increase the dose okay increase the dose so that is the concept with case of microsomal enzyme that we can we have to uh, in, uh, adjust the dose if, if the uh, patient is with the inducible drug okay if, if the patient is with warfarin or rifampicin we have to increase the dose for the patient of warfarin okay so like uh, this cemented uh, like just we considered omeprazole is an enzyme inhibitor okay so it is anti acidic drug anti acid okay it decreases your acidity in the body so if the patient is warfarin and omeprazole is given then just consider 50 enzyme was there okay now uh, only 10 enzyme 10 enzyme is acting here okay now 10 enzyme is acting here because uh, the omeprazole will in inhibit the enzyme activity okay so only 10 enzyme out of 110 enzyme will be breaking this uh, uh, means 90 molecules so now 90 mg will be left here okay here only 10 mg here 90 mg now we have to decrease the dose okay if we are giving uh, uh, 50 mg again after 8 hours it will cause drug, toxic, uh, drug toxicity so that is why uh, if the patient is omeprazole and warfarin we have to decrease the dose for the patient because only 10 enzyme will be breaking the molecule 10 mg of molecule in 8 hours because omeprazole inhibits the activity of microsomal enzyme and rifampicin enhance the activity of okay so in that case we have to increase the dose and with the enzyme inhibition we have to decrease the dose so that is only the case with microsomal enzyme metabolizing drugs okay heparin is a non microsomal metabolizing drug okay so this is the concept behind this microsomal so we have some enzyme inducers here like we have uh, phenytoin we have rifampicin we have seen okay we have taken a smoking the person who does uh, does smoking so in that case uh, uh, enzyme uh, metabolizing enzymes capacity is increased and carbamazole anti epileptic and phenobarbital and some more are there and now enzyme inhibitor we have valporate ketoconazole erythromycin okay antifungal it is uh, antibiotic retinovir hiv protease inhibitor ciprofloxacin antibiotic and omeprazole cemented in okay cemented in so these are actually ppi okay proton pump inhibitors clear so this was the concept behind our enzymes clear now we have to see actually cyp here cyp so if have cyp in enzyme cyp we have actually the, the cyp is a pigment, uh, pigment cytochrome and 450 is the wavelength at which this pigment is absorbed now in this we have cyp just consider the naming cyp is this and three is a family of this enzyme a is subfamily 
okay and 4 is for isoform isoform number okay so this enzyme is of family 3 and which alphabet is a family and 4 is isoform so cyp3a4 it is the most common and the most abundant that is 36 percent of the drug is metabolized by this enzyme like calcium channel blocker drugs statins okay statins are anti-cholesterolic drug which decreases the cholesterol level amiodarone and cyclosporin okay immunosuppressant antiarrhythmic and cyp1a2 it is a family 1 as a family a and isoform 2 it's also 11 percent okay acetaminophen uh, that is pcm pcm other name is acetin amino fen now cyp 2d6 it is a family of two and d is, is a family and six is isoform it is the second most abundant after cyp 3a4 most of the drugs are metabolized by cyp 3a4 most of the and the second most is cyp 2d6 it's 90 per 19 percent drugs like beta blockers cna depressants antiarrhythmic drug except amiodarone because amiodarone is metabolized by cyp 3a4 okay other anti-arrhythmic are metabolized by cyp 2d6 now we have cyp 2c9 okay 16 percent okay third most warfarin we have phenotoin salicoxib this nsaids non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug salicoxib losartan is an arv blocker okay anti-anginal drug or uh, anti uh, that is hypertensive anti-hypertensive agent now we have cyp 2c19 okay so these are actually clopidogrel is metabolized by this enzyme okay is an anti platelet drug okay so in this case ppi are avoided because it will inhibit the activity of clopidogrel okay like omeprazole ppi so this was cyp i think it is clear uh, video is becoming long so i have to continue it fast now phase two phase two we have done phase one if the drug is not metabolized fully then we have to go through the process of phase two reaction that is called a synthetic reaction and conjugate aim is to make the drug water soluble so it consists of conjugation reaction if the metabolite from the phase one is uh, phase one is uh, means it is lipid soluble then it will be excreted out but many phase one metabolites are still lipophilic uh, they are still lipophilic so they can't be excreted out so they have to pass through phase two reaction in that we have some reactions like glucuronic acid that is caused as uh, glucuronidation okay by enzyme glucuronide transferase but it is done by microsomal enzymes okay by phase that is microsomal enzymes clear and now uh, amino acids okay and acetic acid acetyl transferase or acetyl coenzyme a acetylation we say it as okay and sulfation by uh, and now fifth is methylation by methyl transferase and some are uh, glycine conjugation some other conjugations are also present but these are most important conjugation are also there okay so these are the most important conjugations which will be seeing okay which by which the phase 2 reaction is processed and the enzymes are non microsomal for all the phase 2 reaction except glucoordination uh, which are done by glucuronide transferase which is an microsomal enzymes okay because that can be inducible and inhibition that is the main difference okay so this was the concept uh, behind the metabolism i think it is clear then next video will be continuing in the section of excretion of the drug okay i have told in detail the metabolism these are phase 1 and phase 2 phases of metabolism so next video will be discussing the excretion of the drug so thank you do like share and subscribe the channel